All right, this is grade two, module two, lesson one of our our second module here. Woohoo! So uh, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be essentially right now we're going to be measuring things. So let's say we're going to be measuring a pencil, and this is about the worst looking pencil you could ever imagine here. But let's say we've got a pencil, and what we're going to do is we're going to take that pencil and we are going to connect it to um, repeated copies of some sort of object and you know we're going to be using cubes for the most part here and we're going to take that cube and we're going to duplicate it and then we're just going to uh, drag that cube and have as many copies of that cube as we need to figure out how many cubes does it take to make the length of a pencil and of course the idea is those cubes have to be right next to each other and because this is real life it would be really cool if some of the things they the students measured did not equal exactly a whole number of cubes so in this case we might say oh it's one two three four five six seven eight nine it's about eight or nine cubes so in this case, we would probably say nine. It's about nine cubes. So that's the, uh, the whole theme for this lesson. So in this problem, for a homework assignment, the students, fortunately, don't have to bring cubes home. So the uh, homework assignment kind of gives them the cubes. It says count each centimeter cube to find the length of each object. So we've got our cubes, and we can see that, oh, for this crayon, it's about four cubes long. So in this case, we're using centimeter cubes, so it's four centimeter cubes long. Uh, in real life, you know, we're going to have kids. It would be really cool if you could have in your classroom uh, a bucket of cubes and tell those kids, hey, let's, let's take this bucket of cubes and let's uh, measure a bunch of things with this cube and we're just gonna line up a bunch of cubes and see how many cubes it takes to make the length of our desk or the length of a pencil or the length of my pair of scissors. You get the idea. And so in this problem it says the length of Marissa's loaf of bread is 56 centimeters. She cut off 32 centimeters of bread. What is the length of, uh, of bread that she has left? So I'm going to draw a picture so that students can see what's going on here. And in this case, our second graders can imagine that this is our 56 centimeters. And we know that she's going to cut off 32 of those centimeters. So we're going to cut off 32 centimeters of the bread couple of different ways to get this answer. One way is the classic traditional subtraction. So 56 minus 32 gives us 24 centimeters left over. Another way to do that, to, to take a look at what's going on, is to say, well, here's 32. This distance right here is 32. What do we need to add to get to 56? Well, if we added four more centimeters, that would bump us up, no, nope, I'm sorry, eight more centimeters. If we were to, yeah, add a eight more centimeters, that would give us 40. And then, hmm, if we add 16 more centimeters, that would bump us from 40 to 56. So, hmm, so what did we have to add to 32? We added a 16 and an 8. I add those together. Oops, whoa. And I also get 24, so I don't know how to do that. Well, I'm just going to use this. And 8 plus 6 is 14. Carry the 1, 24. There we go. 24 centimeters. And really, I should be precise. I should call this 24 centimeters. And this example, it says the length of Jimmy's math book is 19 centimeter cubes. His reading book is 15 centimeters cubes longer. So what is the length of his reading book? So we have his math book and we have his reading book. And I'm going to draw a picture of this using a tape diagram. 
Uh, it's not quite a, a standard right now for second grade, for second grade, but I'm going to use it anyway. So to model it, so we've got there's our our tape diagram for the math book, and then it says his reading book is 15 centimeter cubes longer. So I'm going to start with the exact same length as his math book, but then I'm going to add to it. So what we have here is his math book is 19 centimeters. And then his reading book is the same thing. It's 19 centimeters plus an extra 15 centimeters. So the question is, what is the length of his reading book? Well, that's just 19 plus 15. 9 plus 5 is 4. Carry the 1. So that's 34 centimeters. So the length of the reading book is 34 centimeters. And that is Grade 2, Module 2, Lesson 1, where basically we've got students who are the big theme is students are taking a cube and they're taking a bunch of cubes and lining them up in order to measure the length of certain objects.